Once upon a time, there was a little angel fish named Hope. She lived in a vast ocean, deep and wide. Her appearance was not like that of other fish, for she had wings where fins should be and a halo over her head. Though strangely out of place, Hope made friends wherever she journeyed, for wherever she ventured, she inspired others and fostered blessings. From the day Benny Barnacle was born, he had been on the move. Not by choice, but by the currents of the ocean. Instead of feeling he was passing through life, he felt as if life was passing him by. He never got to know a friend. One day, Hope the Angelfish spotted the little barnacle passing by overhead and was curious. Barnacles were supposed to be attached to something. But Benny was different. He had no place to belong. He was a creature swept away without attachment to anything in life. Hope the angelfish gave chase and followed Benny. Hope wondered how many others had seen the barnacle or even cared why it was a prisoner of the ocean current. I hope that strange fish is not chasing me, Benny thought with alarm. I can't swim. Hope sped up and spoke out. Do you need some help? I noticed you are all alone. The current suddenly ceased and all was still. Hope drew closer to the little barnacle and felt sadness. Are you going to eat me? Benny asked. I am helpless and cannot move. Make it quick. Hope struck a broad smile. I'm not going to eat you. I have come to help you find a place to belong. Impossible, Benny said. Even if you did try to help, I cannot swim. Just leave me. Who cares? The barnacle came to rest on the ocean bottom. Hope followed and came closer. I promise you, I know of a perfect place, Hope told Benny. Benny wasn't sure. He wasn't sure what a promise was. The angelfish told of a tale of an old ship close by that was beaming with other barnacles. It was a community of light creatures and all were said to be very welcoming. Benny was still not sure. Benny agreed to at least see what it was and hoped the angelfish nudged the little barnacle by the tip of her nose. Suddenly, as Hope had said, an old shipwreck appeared. Benny grew excited. Now I'm releasing you to travel down to a place you belong, Hope said, as she watched Benny gently float down toward the ship. Benny had a look of uncertainty in his eyes, but that quickly went away as Benny saw the old wreck was covered with barnacles just like him, but in many different colors. They welcomed him and asked him to join their community. Benny attached himself to a railing up high so he could have the best view of all of his new friends. And for the first time in his life, he was attached to something. He belonged. He was a part of something great. Hope smiled and said farewell. Hope the angelfish swam off as the shipwreck began to glimmer. The old ship appeared to be covered with tiny colorful twinkle lights and Hope knew what it was. It was the glow of love and togetherness.